Lump sum versus pension. Updated 2023. This is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Your pension just looked a whole lot better now, man. Let me show you. This is huge. So uh, make sure you understand before you make a horrible mistake. All right. Part two of this is don't be sitting there saying, oh, my goodness, this is all bad because it's good if you look at it correctly. Part three, of course, is share the video if you know someone who's going to uh, look at this lump sum versus pension. And part four is subscribe to Locals. We're going live in Locals at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday, which is today, and every Friday there on after. So subscribe and, of course, follow, uh, subscribe to my email list as well. All right, so my man Johnny Rotten Reno said, so this is a video I did the other day, um, the most important story if you were talking about it, my views, I didn't get a huge amount of views on that thing. Yeah, well, that's six and a half. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, good. All right, Johnny Rotten Reno says, uh, the most important store to me right now is I did a yearly pension estimate adjustment, and my pension has decreased by 25%. No, it has not. A six-figure loss in retirement funds for me. No, it has not. I've heard this is somewhat universal among corporations with pension plans right now. What I don't understand is how actually is how the current economic conditions will equate to a 25% drop in value in one year. All right, so he's making a horrible mistake. Don't make this mistake. Let's see what some of the other comments people write about here. Uh, Josh explained pensions during his live stream. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Uh, did Johnny Rotten... Um, all right. All right. So here's Johnny Rotten Reno's. All right. So it's uh, sad, man. All right. So let's go into this. All right. So what happens with a pension and a lump sum? The corporation says, we're going to pay Johnny Reno $3,000 a month. All right. So we're going to start. We, we're going to pay him $3,000 a month. That's 36,000 years. Make this simplicity over his life and his life could be 90 years it could be 70 years it doesn't matter because what happens to an annuity a pension is is based on the people who die early are subsidizing the people who die later it's no different than social security all right so the, the government isn't getting your money if you die early from social security is being used to pay the benefits to the people who die later and some people get really upset like well that's not fair it's just the actual tables man it's just the numbers if you die at 70, well, you're dead. You don't care about your Social Security anymore. But the guy who's living until 90, he cares. And so the money you do not receive goes to him. Try to do a video, baby. Oh, boy. Someone will scratch him McGee over there. All right, so they're saying, all right, how much does it cost for us in a lump sum to give Johnny Reno 3000 a month? All right, so 3000 a month is 36 years. Uh, 36000 a year. And we're going to do a life expectancy for simplicity of 25 years. All right. So 25 years life expectancy. And we got paid Johnny Reno 3000 a month for those 25 years. All right. So they say, how much do we need? And they look at how much they got to invest in which to get that 36,000 a year for those 25 years. And they have, we're going to use three different interest rates. So we'll start with 5%. And we just take our trusty financial calculator and we say, okay. So if we have a 5% interest rate, so we just literally take 5% as our interest rate. And then we have uh, 25 years, 25 N. We got 36,000 years our payment. And we have a zero future value, all right? Because when Johnny's dead, there's no more, they, they don't have to pay anymore. How much do we need to put in a lump sum to cover that 25 years? And you hit compute present value $507,000 all right so $507,000 what they have to put in the lump sum in order to give him 36,000 year over his life expectancy if the interest rates drop to 3% I guarantee you have to put more than 500,000 in uh, 3% is the interest you have to put in $626,000 if interest rates go to 7%, I guarantee you have to put less in than the, the 5. 419. All right. So what happens here is these are at a 3% interest rate, the company has to put into a lump sum 626,000 bucks. 
At a 5% interest rate, they have to put in $507,000. At a 7% interest rate, they have to put in four nineteen. dollars So Johnny is looking at it wrong. He's saying, my, my pension has dropped. No, it has not, because it's still getting this $36,000 a year. He's still getting that. The pension hasn't dropped at all. The lump sum has dropped because the interest rates have gone up, which means the company has less to contribute to the lump sum. It's just that simple. All right, so now what we do is we say, okay, let's say it's 36,000 a year. I'm just literally pulling these numbers out of the air. 36,000 a year. Let's say it used to be 626,000 bucks. So we take, that was what the lump sum would be. So we take 36,000 divided by 626, and that gives us a 5.7% payout. So we come down here. Actually, let me just do this. 5.7%. All right. So when the interest rates were uh, 3%, and he would get 36000 a year, or he could take a lump sum of 626000 well, he's getting less than 6%, so my inclination would probably be to take the lump sum, not the annuity. Because he's getting $36,000 a, a year or $626,000 as a lump sum. In that case, he's only getting a 5.7% payout on an annual basis. All right. Again, the payout ratio is not an interest rate. It's not a dividend yield. It's actually how much money you're getting relative to the lump sum. And if, he, if it's less than 6%, I'm, I'm typically not all that impressed. All right, but now 36,000 on 507, so 36 divided by 507, that's a 7.1% payout ratio. And that's a two, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Because he's 36,000 bucks divided into 500,000 bucks, he's now getting 7.1% as a payout rate. Anything over 7 is a no-brainer in my opinion. Lastly, at uh, 7%, 36 divided by 419, it's an 8.6 rate. I mean, so basically, if Johnny, <laughs> if, if he was in the, the bottom two and he didn't take it, I, I just, I don't understand that, man. I don't understand that. All right, so what happened here? I was working with a guy the other day who was going through this exact same thing. I said, dude, you got to take your pension. It's, it's a no-brainer because now he, he was getting like 8.5% payout rate. He said, you're looking at it wrong. Your lump sum has dropped, but your pension has not. Your pension is actually much more valuable than what it was because you have less money to compare it to. You're, you're not going to get the same lump sum, but you are going to get the same pension. So one thing is, so basically one thing fell, the other thing stayed flat. Inherently, that thing that stayed flat is worth more. Now, Johnny, unfortunately, makes a mistake many people do. He says, uh, I, never, I would never consider taking an annuity. There's no inflation rate adjustment to that. Every year, the checks are worth less. See, Johnny is falling for the inflation myth, which is sad. If I was to start an annuity at 55 and live until I just 85, that's 30%, 30 years of inflation eating away at the annuity checks. All right, so what John doesn't understand, he's assuming his investments will do better than inflation. And ah, look, if you want to make that assumption, that's fine. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to make it. You could. A whole lot more risk. Uh, <laughs> the investments last year certainly didn't do better than inflation uh, because investments were down friggin' 20%. What's to say that can't happen again? Uh, Johnny's making a fundamental mistake here. His annuity, is much, his pension is much more valuable than what it was. So not only is Johnny going to roll this money out because he doesn't worry, he's worried about the inflation risk. He thinks his investments will mitigate the inflation risk. And the evidence of that is sparse. I mean, it could, absolutely. But then what is inflation? How are you measuring inflation, Johnny? You see what I'm saying? I, he's making a horrible mistake. And so, you know, I mean, he could live to tell the story. He might. If he did in 1982, he's loving life. If he did in 2000, he's not loving life, especially if he's pulling money out. Now, if he doesn't have any more money, that's all he's got. Yeah, maybe. Could he do half and half? I don't know. But if if you're only if you have other monies, then not taking the pension is crazy, in my opinion. The annuity, numb, dumb, dumb, dumb. Don't be dumb. Now, if that's all you got, yeah, I get it. 
Or you can split the difference. Say, if I got 500,000 bucks, I'll take 250 and I'll put 250 investments. But I tell you, man, it's a horrible mistake. The tragedy of unending proportions if everyone takes a 25% discount on their lump sum and avoids the annuity because, oh my goodness, inflation. It's just crazy. It's kind of like the people say, like, I was, where was I watching here? I was, open, I was on BitChute and I just, let's see if I can't find this. Hold on just a second. That's a, I want to, uh, Hold on a second, see if I can't find this. Because I was like, dude, yeah, well, that's not going to show you. But so if you go, uh, hold on, so let me pause this. I'm not going to find it, but there's an ad that says, uh, protect your retirement from Biden inflation. And Stu Peters is the uh, spokesperson for, you know, goldbugs.com or whatever it is. Ugh. I'm like, so gold is a protection against Biden inflation, huh? Okay. Um. I uh, just, uh, anyway, whatever. He can do whatever he wants with his money. I don't care. I just, if you're watching this video, I hope you think otherwise. Because this could, this could be a, a stake that you'll you'll never get again. You, you can't, if you think it out, that's fine. I get it. But if you're falling for the inflation fear mongers and you're falling for the idea that my lump sum will beat inflation and provide me a steady paycheck relative to an 8% payout rate on your pension, I just, that's, all right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.